What's going on everybody from the title of this video? You guys know what time it is. We are making the new manifold for Carlos' Integra. Uh, it's gonna be really cool. Before I show you guys uh, what I've got going on right now, I don't actually have it built yet, so I didn't jump a bunch of steps on you guys. I'm just mocking it up right now, and uh, a lot of you guys have seen this, my little turbo jig holder thing. Uh, it's a really crude one, I need to make a new one, but I have it mocked up right now with the turbo. I was planning on using my KMR2 top mount jig, but the way that the K sits in the front wheel drive configuration compared to like the mid engine, it's way different and like the mount is way different and the turbo can actually sit up higher, which is weird to me, uh, in the Integra than it can in the MR2. So I got it modified a little bit and I was not able to use that jig, so I'm gonna make a new one and I'm actually gonna offer it on my website for you guys because I don't know, if you've ever installed a Sidewinder or worked on a Sidewinder, it's frustrating because like take tranny out or do anything, you have to basically take the manifold off and the whole turbo off. It's frustrating and the top mount makes it super easy to either do a hood exit or a fender exit. So we'll get to that later. I'm gonna show you guys what I got going on right now. I did do a bunch of work on it as well. I know it still looks really cluttered, but if you guys notice, there is no ABS pump over here. All the ABS stuff is gone. I uh, had Carlos order a prop valve from a non-ABS car and then we got these, uh, like the ABS line kit delete. I don't know, there's just like some lines bent up. You could get your own made. Uh, these are really simple stuff. They're just like 90s and stuff. So it ends up replacing all the brake lines up front. So uh, it goes from like right here in the fender well over to the prop valve and then same with over here, it replaces that and then all the other weird lines. So clean it up a bunch. Um, it is still gonna have the heater core is gonna be functional and uh, it's another reason too why I had to move this. The MR2 top mount was like so low I couldn't even put uh, a charge pipe on it. There's no way to make it. So I had to raise it up quite a bit. And then as you can see too, the, the all-wheel drive, the K all-wheel drive T-bracket is way bigger. So it's hard to fit like an air cooler pipe over here. But enough of that, as you can see, I got the little jig holding the turbo up. It is gonna work really well. I really like how it, how it is right now. It's kinda close to the valve cover. It leaves room if someone wants to have like a little bit bigger of a turbo on it. And then there's still room here where the hood goes. As you can see, it's kinda deceiving. But like it has a lot of room back there to go up. So I just left a little bit of room that way if someone puts like an S369 on there, uh, hopefully it will still fit the compressor cover. What I'll probably do is go borrow one from Brent and see uh, if it fits once I get these runners tacked up. But I'm gonna go ahead and uh, tack up one runner. I've already got it kind of figured out, so I'm gonna tack it up and then I can pull this all off and I can run the other runners on the table and not actually uh, have to have all this in there. I went ahead and got all four of the runners welded. I have this one tacked up here. As you guys can see, this runner does not line up yet. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, 
belt sand this side of it so that way I can get it to line up and then I'm going to go ahead and uh, start welding all the runners to the collector. Depot on the beat. Just got this all finished up pretty happy with how it came out so from this point here all I need to do is I need to uh, fuse the inside of this here on this uh, turbo flange same thing with the uh, head flange to runner flanges on the inside I fuse them just to make it like a nice little transition and make it a little bit stronger and then I got to put a badge on this add the wastegate entry to it and then deck the head flange and we'll be all done with this manifold man I'm really excited about how nice this manifold fits. I don't know, so I might be the only one, I doubt I'm the only one, but if anybody has an EG EK or Integra K-swapped, uh, you guys know how big of a pain in the ass the Sidewinders are, so I've always wondered why nobody makes a nice top mount for these. Like, I, I get it, you have to do either a fender exit or a hood exit, but a lot of people with those Sidewinders a lot of them are so hard to run exhaust on or anything because the T-bracket is back there and then also the firewall is back there and you have a whole bunch of stuff back there. They normally do a hood exit anyways or some type of fender exit. So if you're wanting one of these, let me know. I'm going to be putting them on my website. I don't have them up yet. It might take me a couple of days to uh, get them up on the website and get some pictures taken. But I'm so happy with how these fit. So like this thing, right, is there's a lot of people who offer manifolds. But I tried to offer more than just a manifold, right? Anybody can build a manifold and run the runners and make it fit. And then a lot of people have to do a bunch of modifying just to get the manifold to fit. So let me show you guys what this looks like. <laughs> Ignore the huge wire mess and everything like that. Just think about the manifold and uh, like running the oil feed and return lines is super easy and everything fits nice. This is with all-wheel drive uh, K-series in the car. So the T-bracket is a little bit bigger. Keep that in mind. Now this is a 6466 as I said earlier. If you can see right here, see right here how there's room right here by this runner? Well, the oil feed line can come straight down off the turbo, right past this runner, just straight off, a straight fitting, and then down into the back side of the pan. Super simple. So that makes the return line very nice to do on these. No big deal there. And then this almost looks really tight right here, but there's actually about four inches from the compressor outlet to the mount right there, which that means you can easily put a two and a half inch or three inch pipe on there. So that makes that super simple to do, and that frees up a bunch of room right here. Like, just look at how nice this looks, minus all of this chaos. But if you had a shaved and tucked bay, this stuff would be nice. I don't know. Not trying to make this like a manifold ad, but I just get super excited about stuff that fits really great because I've installed some stuff. And I'm just like, dude, a little bit of give a shit would have went a long ways on some of this stuff, and just a little bit extra thought on how these runners go would make a huge difference. So check this out as well. This is the wastegate on it. So it really nice and easy. This would just 90 off and go down and dump down, or you could dump it up 
out with it or out the fender with it if you want. If you're going to dump it out the fender, obviously you have to make a brace for it. But it all fits really good. Like you can still fit the oil cooler and oil filter on there. Like I said, don't mind the wiring. But and then check this out also. I shut the hood and I actually did lower it down a little bit, but I shut the hood and the cowl actually sits, the, the hood actually sits up above the cowl there about like an inch. So this actually leaves room as long as the compressor housing will fit for a bigger frame turbo like an S369 frame is really similar to like the, the frame up from these precisions, like a 6870. So I'm gonna go get one from Brent later today and uh, mock that up on there and just see if it fits. I have a feeling it will. <laughs> it's gonna suck. It's gonna make everything else a little bit harder, but I just thought I'd make this video. It's a product I offer. You guys know I make manifolds and whatnot, so I just thought I'd make a video on this because I'm really excited for this. I don't know anybody who offers one. I know people do offer K-top mounts, but it puts the turbo like down lower over there by the transmission down low. And I don't really like that because then you still, I mean, you might be able to run an exhaust, but the way the runners are ran, there's not really a way to run the exhaust. So anyways, enough nerd talk. I was just excited. I'm gonna, I gotta weld the waste entry on there and then deck the flange and this manifold is done. I gotta go run some stuff and then we're gonna go ahead and get started on the three inch titanium fender exit for this car. Hope you guys enjoyed the little bit of video I did on this. I wanna try to make more videos for you guys. I don't know, I, I don't know if you guys can tell, but I don't know, I've been feeling in like a little funk, like a little frustrated lately. Uh, almost reminds me of like earlier this year when I was doing my cage and I was feeling really frustrated. I just needed like a break for a little bit and uh, cause I was realizing that I was losing um, my passion for making videos and doing this stuff. So I'm sorry for not being in, bringing you guys more content but I'm gonna start trying to do at least two videos a week for you guys. And uh, even if they're just like on one thing, I get, I get sometimes in my head a lot about like, oh, I need to get a lot done for them to show them. They're not gonna like the video and do this and that and that, but whatever. Like, at the end of the day, I just I realize like, you guys are gonna watch or you're not gonna watch it. Like, I don't need to do a bajillion things for you guys to watch it. So sometimes, the videos I enjoy the most are like dumb, simple things where <laughs> really much doesn't happen at all. So, anyways, I'll be back tomorrow. We're gonna be starting on this titanium stuff, and I think I'm gonna make the video kind of like uh, the titanium uh, fender exit, and then also like my new welding setup with the Fronius. I've been using it for a long time now and I wanna finally make its own video. Uh, yeah, so that is what's to be expected for tomorrow. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching as always and we'll see you in the next one.